Hi, my name is Miguel from avoiderrors.net. In this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you guys how to remote access another computer using Google Chrome Remote Desktop Extension. So let's begin. In the Chrome browser, go to the Chrome Web Store. The link is in the description box below. And look for Chrome Remote Desktop Beta. Here it is. You can click Enter or click on the little uh, drop-down option here. This is what I'll be using Chrome Remote Desktop Beta. Just click on Add to Chrome. Click on Add. This is good if you want to share your desktop with your friends or if you need some technical uh, help you can give them access to your computer using the Google Chrome Remote extension. Now, once it finished adding, it should appear here in one of your apps. If it doesn't, like me, you can always right click and then select reload. Perfect. Now here it is, Chrome Remote Desktop Beta. Go ahead and click to run. Here click continue. Here click on allow access. Perfect. Now we're going to use remote assistance. So click on get started. And now here we have the option to share or access. What I'm going to do in this computer is uh, access, but I can also share. I have already set up a computer pretending that it's a client computer or my friend's computer. Here it is. So what I'm going to do is share this one. Remember, pretending that it's my friend's computer or somebody who needs help. So I'm going to click on share and it's going to give me a code. All I need from them is to provide me this code so I can access their computer. It doesn't matter if it's Mac, Linux or Windows. So uh, from my computer what I'm going to do is click on access and here provide the code that my friend or my client provided me with and then click on connect the connection process might take a while depending on the internet speed perfect I have successfully remote access their computer now I can uh, fix it manage it do whatever it is that I need to do from my location Thank you for watching this video. My name is Miguel. If you have any questions, please feel free to post them in the comment section below. Thank you.